Oh, okay. Cool. Greetings, programs. Atari here, you there, and this is the Smart Robot Car Kit 3.0 US edition by Elegoo. Uh, this is a small, uh, small, this thing's heavy, Arduino-based stem kind of kit. Uh, Elegoo contacted me, asked me if I would like to show this on my channel because I do a lot of uh, beginner Arduino kind of stuff and, and thought that y'all might like this and uh, I was uh, inclined to agree. So here I am showing it to you now, it's a nice little box. It's it's kind of heavy. It does promise uh, an app for iOS and Android. We'll see about that. Uh, obstacle avoidance, auto follow, and the infrared remote feature. All that good stuff here, and there's some social media links right there. So let's uh, let's open her up and see what we've got. All right, let's take a look. See what we got here. Nice little. Folding open there. Let's see. LU PDF code libraries for the Smart Car Kit 3.0 tutorial. Um, okay, so this is their tutorial documents. We'll have to take a look at that on the machine and find out what that is. Oh, hey, look, a thank you card. I'm a happy customer. Share your review and feedback on Amazon. Follow us on Facebook. This is something I've noticed that a lot of the smaller electronics manufacturers and distributors are doing. They're putting these little these nice little note cards in there. It's a nice little touch, I think, a little bit better than, you know, our kind of Western, like, hey, follow us on social media, call it, uh, da, 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 da. don't forget to like, subscribe, and murder block. And here we go, we've got a uh, assembly tutorial uh, booklet. We shall be following that. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four boxes. Oh, five boxes, oh boy. An assemblage of boxes inside of our box. Because, yo dog, I heard you like boxes. So this one, oh, let's see. So it's all like, it's all bits and pieces. And it's, you know, this is not unlike assembling like a Lego thing. Oh, a Lego, a Lego, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We got little, little screwdriver. Oh, this is cool. So you don't really need like to have tools or anything. So this is perfect for like, I think this would be great for like a kid. Uh, who's just getting into Arduino. We'll see about that once I actually put it together. Yeah, it comes with all like the obscure little tools that you would need, like a little like double zero and and uh, zero size Phillips heads, cross heads, and, uh, and the, the Allen key here. Uh, uh, hex head uh, would be the generic name for it. But it's the U.S. version, so it's Phillips and and Allen key. And then this, I think, is the body of the car, and I think it's like acrylic. Yeah, it's it's like laser cut acrylic. That's that. Okay, so that's our un that's the unboxing, kids. I'm gonna leave everything kind of in boxes for the moment, and um, let's get this thing built and see what it looks like. Well, let's see what this puppy can do. Okay, so let's try just the basic steering with the remote control. Got it there, turn on, and we got a remote. Let's go forward. Oh, we need to... Oh, okay. Cool. The only problem is you've got to like actually point at the uh, little receiver here. But um, other than that, it works. Works pretty well. So let's see what else it can do.
those are all the basic functions of the uh, Elegoo Smart Robot Car 3.0. Um, yeah, slightly disappointed in the outcome here. One, the Bluetooth module will not connect to my phone, uh, thus I cannot do any Bluetoothy things with it, at least not yet. The uh, obstacle avoidance is decent. Um, it's very rudimentary, but it works. Works. Just driving it with the with the remote control is just fine. That works no problem. The line tracking really doesn't work at all, and I think the problem actually lies in this sensor. It is not working correctly. It is uh, it is only doing two channels. It's not doing the third channel. So that's either a problem in the circuit or it's a problem with the chip. Uh, now I'm going to have to chat with Elegoo about this to see if we can get this rectified and try it again. Now I have not played with the code myself. Uh, there's a, a few things I would probably look at here. One being the sensitivity of the ultrasonic and two uh, replacing the Bluetooth module. Uh, with something that will work, as well as the, uh, the line tracking module with something that will work. But it's a fun little Saturday project kind of thing just to put together, play around with, but it has a pretty good selection of parts that, uh, you know, like Lego, you can take this thing down to parts and build whatever you want to out of it. It does come with a couple of 18650s and a charger and a few of the nicer uh, Arduino type sensors so that's good to use and you've got some pretty decent little parts in here some decent motors and things of that sort to play with if you do want to play around with your own I will leave a link down in the doobie doo you can uh, you can grab one there and uh, and see what it is I'm talking about and troubleshoot it yourself in the meantime social media over here subscribe down here here's the show notes for this episode and all the links and everything and up here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. In the meantime, my name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.